I've got a horse show tomorrow, so I need to get everything moved from this trailer to my four horse trailer because we are taking four horses. I need to fix hay bags and do all that stuff, so let's get started. I have absolutely no clue how I'm gonna do tomorrow because I haven't been to a horse show, a barrel race, in like two to three weekends, honestly, because it keeps raining every single weekend. Right now, it's gorgeous weather, so I'm hoping tomorrow will be great too. I've got everything. Ignore how my saddles are. I know they're not correct. They'll be fine for five seconds while I drive to this trailer. I still need to get a Velcro strap for my boots, but I haven't done it yet. This is just an old saddle. The other day, they all decided to fight a raccoon and I was there I didn't want to get involved because the raccoon was out in broad daylight and definitely could have rabies or something and they just had to fight it they almost lost I had to call my dad to come take care of the raccoon they ended up being okay but a lot of them had scratches on their noses and on their ears she didn't get it but Cooper had scratches all over his ears I don't know why they chose to fight a raccoon but they did I think I have everything. I'm gonna do hay bags though now. My hay bags are kind of everywhere, so I need to find all four of them. The last time I used this trailer, Lee literally broke off the screen on one of them windows. I, I don't know why she does it, but she's done like three. I'm gonna have to get them fixed. There's two hay bags. It is such a freaking mess in here. We don't really use it all that much, this part especially, because this is for like overnight, because I really use just the back tack, but we haven't been to an overnight barrel race since the last one I vlogged, so it's been a while. And I think my other, oh my gosh, hangover hay net is in the trailer. My dad sometimes takes my, <laughs> takes my horse trailer to do things, especially when he needs something hauled that's enclosed. And there is a dishwasher in here right now. We are obviously not taking this trailer. I was questioning it, but now I know. And my other hay nets are both in here. I like to fill my hay bags pretty much slam full. I'm gonna put some alfalfa on top of this. But horseshoes are all day. Usually you just wait around honestly but they still have to stand beside the trailer basically all day long which sucks in some ways but they need to learn all my horses are very young they need to learn these things even if i don't end up doing my best tomorrow i don't think i can be too mad i noticed the other day honey was like really acting weird on her back legs, which probably means she needs to be injected again. I get her hocks and her stifles injected, and I try to do it like once a year, and I did it last year in May, so they're obviously worn off. I'm, they like normally say they wear off between like six and eight months, and I can tell hers are now like getting to the point where she needs to be done. I definitely need to do that, but I'm trying to wait for Ladybug to have this baby before I take off to my vet who's an hour and a half away. Also, I wanted to update y'all. I did not get a real ring yet. I've been looking. We've been looking. We went to a bunch of jewelers, jewel, jewelers, but I haven't found anything that I liked. So we're still on the lookout for that. This is all ready to be loaded up. I think that's really all that I can do today until tomorrow I'm gonna load it up and finish all that tomorrow morning. Hey y'all, it is barrel race day. Update. <laughs> My girl had the baby. We might not be going to a horse show today after all. We might have to take care of this little baby. She's a girl and she is perfect. Ladybug still has the placenta hanging out though. So I'm a little concerned about that. Everybody is fed. She's sleeping. She has been struggling to try to get milk. I called my vet. She said that the placenta, if it's not out in like the next 30 minutes, she's gonna have to come give her oxytocin. 
And we've got to get that baby to drink. We only have like 12 hours is what she basically said to get it going. So let me give y'all a quick little update. So I went down there, the baby is on the ground. Up, the baby's fine, it is now drinking. It took a little bit for her to figure that out. We're not sure when Ladybug started having this baby, but when I went down there at 8.30, the baby was dry, clean, nothing. So that probably means she had it a pretty good ways before now. But when I went down there, the placenta was hanging out. If you know and have been around any type of broodmare like that or whenever they're having the baby or know much about it, the placenta is supposed to drop within three hours from start to finish having the baby. And it is already 11 o'clock. Um, our vet came, she gave Ladybug oxytocin. So it's still hanging out after the three hours, we're pretty sure. Oxytocin is supposed to allow her muscles to contract and kind of push it out, help her get rid of the placenta. I'm supposed to be giving her the oxytocin every 30 minutes to an hour now. So I'm gonna wait till 11.30, go down there, give her more. It goes into the muscle. My vet left it for me. It's not something that I have here. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to make it to the show. If we do, it's not gonna be for exhibition. It's going to be for the actual running. So we'll just have to see if this placenta comes out. If I go down there now and it comes out, then we might be able to make it. But if not, we're not too stressed or worried about it because the baby's the most important thing right now. There's gonna be many other horse shows, but only one baby. This is the day before Easter, so she really couldn't have had this baby at a more inconvenient time for us. Tomorrow, I'm gonna have my same vet come back and give her that IgG test, which will test her plasma to make sure she got enough milk from her mom, make sure she got her colostrum that she needed. I'm just leaving her, them alone right now to kind of figure out what's happening, but I will take y'all down there when I go again. I'm really thankful for my vet that she would come out on a Saturday for me because I was really stressed about that and she's being very, very helpful. We'll just have to play this whole thing by ear and see what happens. I'm going to do a little bit of my makeup though, just so I can feel a little more put together. Last night, I actually went down there to give them hay at 11 p.m. I did not put up my horses last night. My mom did it for me because I went to my boyfriend's a little bit earlier too early to go ahead and put them up and ladybug was fine but i went back down there at 11 to just check on them give them hay put on blankets completely fine homegirl was like give me hay i'm ready to eat my hay gave her her hay she ate it up was completely fine i got down there this morning and we literally have a baby on the ground so but last time she actually made it to 10 months with her baby and then she boarded it and she gave no signs she was going to abort either. I've been talking to my vet and some of the signs are like, they act like they're colicking. They are clearly like uncomfortable. And not just that, they also don't like not eat. Well, last night Ladybug gave no signs of nothing. They said that their, her milk would like drip. Nothing, nothing at all. I just got a text from my vet. She said do it every 30 minutes. So I'm gonna hurry through this. And that is all I'm gonna do. Just some light makeup. I have given Ladybug two shots of oxytocin so far, so it's been an hour after the vet has left. I'm walking down here again. Try not just to stare at it because watch pot never bowls i'm trying to give her her time to get this thing out on her own i'll stay down here maybe five to ten minutes when i do come down here we'll just see if it's dropped now i think running starts at two so we have a little bit of time to at least run i just think exhibition is going to be done for us anyway she still has the placenta hanging out her back end so i went ahead and gave her another cc of oxytocin that my vet gave me like cc in five different syringes and we used just gave her her third shot so in the next hour it should be gone here's the baby she's just chilling she's got a little bit of blood on her nose from being around ladybugs back in since that placenta has not dropped yet oxytocin basically makes her get contractions to push out that placenta it seems to be making her kind of uncomfortable a little bit I'm back down here again after another 30 minutes and I just gave Ladybug yet another shot. I'm trying to avoid like showing y'all 
the thing hanging out of her booty, the placenta, because it's not exactly the prettiest. Cooper, she just got her fourth shot, so that means it's been two and a half hours. It's actually been four hours since I saw that the, the baby was here and came down here to feed. We're definitely past that three hour mark regardless. I'm supposed to keep giving her the oxytocin in another 30 minutes. I'll give it to her again. And maybe by then it will have came out. If not, my vet has to come here again. But my vet is actually at the horse show I was gonna go to today. So she's trying to go to the horse show, run her horses, exhibition and stuff. I'm still hoping I might be able to go, but it's already one o'clock and it starts at two. We're 30 minutes away. I'm just keeping my vet updated and praying that this placenta will come out of her. She's still trying to figure out this milking situation. Ladybug's being a really good mama, letting her milk, kind of even spreading out her legs, being like, okay, come on, time to milk. As the placenta is like trying to make its way out, it is dragging the ground, so I'm having to continue tying it up just to prevent her from stepping on it and pulling it out. If you pull the placenta out, you cause a huge issue, infection, everything. We're already at a point where the placentas have been in here too long, so it can cause infection. And that's why she gave her some Exceed when she came. So it's been another 30 minutes. We're not making any progress. I texted the vet. She said that she would be over here. She is at the horse show, so she had to get them to change her numbers so that she'd be at the end so that she could come help me now. She said wait an hour to give her this last dose of oxytocin that I have. Baby has pooped though, which is an obstacle if you know anything about these babies. She is the cutest thing. And Ladybug is such a good protective mama. I gave Ladybug her last shot and she went to like use the restroom. And when she did, all of the placenta literally came out. I called my vet, she was on my road. So she went ahead here and checked her out. She was good. We're still gonna make it to the show and possibly be add-ons now that the placenta is out. The bad part is nobody's answering their phone now. So I know the producers of this show, so I'm just trying to get them on the phone so that I can see if we can even be add-ons. I talked to the producers in charge. Me and my dad are going to be add-ons. I'm gonna be running Honey. He's gonna be running Jazz. They have like 150 people in it. It's probably going to be a few hours before we even really need to leave, but I'm sure we'll try to get down there when we can. I'm about to let out Queen, Lee, and Blaze. I'm going to leave Honey up, and I'm going to leave Ladybug up since Honey is going to be leaving in just a little bit. We would take Lee and Blaze, but we can't really exhibition because we've already missed the boat on all that. Both the girls are resting, obviously. I'm going to be checking on them, and we're not going to be gone for very long. Just let out three of the girls, kept up Honey, Ladybug, and we're pretty sure that the baby's name is gonna be Olive because we wanted it to have something to do with Easter. And originally, I was thinking Bunny would be really cute, but because we have a horse named Honey, I was like, that's kind of confusing. And the Mount of Olives is where Jesus went to pray before he got crucified, so I just love that name. I'm about to give these two, though, some hay. Actually, I think keeping Honey up has given Ladybug a little bit of peace about being up, so it was a good thing. This little baby is figuring out how to drink. I know y'all just saw Ladybug drip. This is, she's definitely needed a few minutes to figure it out. They're both dripping, and she's still not getting it, but she's figuring it out slowly but surely. Since I've got some time before we're leaving, I am going to go ahead and scoop their stalls. We are getting the baby's plasma checked tomorrow, which is actually Easter. I can't tell y'all how thankful I am for my vet. A, this particular vet wrote me a letter of recommendation into vet school, and I ended up getting in. She had to go through the whole interviewing process just for me. Now she's coming here on the weekend, on Easter weekend, on Easter tomorrow to help me out, and I just can't tell y'all how thankful I am for her. So they just posted the draw on Facebook. My dad is number 155, I'm number 156. We're back to back. They said they had to do it like that, which is perfectly fine because we have two different horses. I am tired though after our hectic morning. It started at 8.30, it's three. I just ate dinner. I'm about to scoop out some of these stalls though. Let's get it going. It just feels like it's one of those days where it's been 10 days and five hours. I feel like this has been the most hectic vlog ever. I seriously had no idea that baby was coming when it did. Her due date isn't even until April 11th, so 
I'm just glad and so thankful that we made it past her safe date. I can only thank God for allowing this to happen such naturally on its own. It's crazy how we designed anything, everything to just be able to reproduce even like it does. It's crazy. I went ahead, gave them water, fixed their feed for tonight so I don't have to worry about that. Got jazz. I have Honey, Blaze, and Lee loaded up. We weren't going to take, I didn't think we were going to take Blaze and Lee, but my dad insisted. So we went ahead and just put up the horses. So Queen and Ladybug are still in their stalls and Olive. We just got here. Me and Dad rode Lee and Blaze just around. Got them saddled up. We're like dead last, so. Come on! Good! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! It's the next day, Easter. Happy Easter, y'all. I am just on a high. I'm so glad Olive is here. She is gorgeous. She's been enjoying herself today. I put her and Ladybug out in the round pen just for a little bit to let them enjoy some sunshine instead of being stuck in the barn all day and they were loving it i am just on a high from olive from god sending his son jesus to die for me on the cross and be crucified but then resurrected three days later i'm just so thankful on my run with honey i was pretty happy because like i said we have not practiced the weather has not been good hasn't been cooperating we got off on two going out of two she hesitated pretty bad on three and one, but really bad on three. We probably could have easily shaved off half a second, if not a whole second, honestly. I ended up being in the 2D, though. I did not place, but we were in the middle of 2D-ish with some really tough riders, and she did pretty good overall. She was probably, like, top 30, top 40, so we'll take it out of more than 150 riders. I'm so just, I'm feeling overjoyed. Thank y'all so much, and I'll see you next week.